Thousands of cars pass through Highway 780 every day. Rarely anyone will see these signs or call the number that's now faded in pink. But for a family that's left in the dark, this is a spot where time stopped. This is Rose Pinson. I get interviews every other day, and sometimes it's, if it's not my trunk, it's in my back seat, so I see her. Her sister Pearl Pinson was last seen on this walking bridge three years ago. It's a spot Rose visits often. I have mixed emotions. I'm upset and angry because this is where I know my sister was taken from. At the same time, I'm happy because I know this is the last place she was last seen at. To this day, the family does not know where Pearl is. The suspect in the case was killed in a shootout in Southern California. And so do you still believe that he was the one that killed her sister? Unfortunately, that's the only person I know that knows where she's at. However, she's hopeful with the new detective on the case. And having the new detective, it's kind of scary because I don't want him messing anything up. But at the same time, it's, I have to trust him because he's new eyes to her case. He could be the one that finds where she's at. She refuses to be silent. I do it for my sister. Because if it wasn't, if it's not me telling her story, I don't think anybody else will be able to. On this walkway, some of the messages for Pearl have been painted over, and some of the flowers woven into this fence have been taken down. But for Rose, that means it's time to repaint and put up more items. We have a graduation teddy bear for her because she'll be graduating this year. So we're going to put this up here as well. It's a reminder that Pearl will never be forgotten and hoping maybe you out there who may see something will one day stop and help.